Now, all this week, we're challenging our environment correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, to reduce his carbon footprint. It's ahead of the unprecedented Citizens Climate Assembly starting in Birmingham this weekend. And today, David, we're talking about how we power our homes. We are, yes. At the start of the week, I promised tips on shrinking your carbon footprint. That's my job, but also saving money as well. And tonight is the money-saving tip for at least some of our viewers. So cast your minds back to Monday when we were looking at my carbon footprint. And here it is. <laughs> Uh, almost everything we do creates gases that contribute to climate change, so our holidays, our food, and yes, how we power our homes, as you said. But before we go on, we had an email from Mick Ford. Uh, good evening, Mick. Uh, and he said, with only four toes, is this the BBC's answer? <laughs> do we have to amputate one toe? So let's have a look at the car. Yeah. So just for Mick, our graphics team will be working on it. Yeah, there they go, they've it. reversed oh, it. I think Mick's a sure off a dish section. Yeah, it's probably anyway, something like that. Anyway, so we're sorted now. So my entire carbon footprint was measured last year at 8.9 tonnes. That's about 40% less than average for somebody living in the UK because I don't have a car and because I use green energy in my home. Here's our carbon guru, uh, Professor David Mon from the University of Warwick, to explain why that's important. You can reduce your carbon, the carbon footprint of your house by half in five minutes by you know, changing suppliers. So a typical British home apparently is, emits about 3.4 tonnes a year. You can halve that just by phoning up and saying, you know, I want to change to good energy or whatever. So we, switching suppliers, we could find that a cheaper option and also greener. Yeah, you could save money and shrink your carbon footprint. So why aren't people doing it? Good question. Mm -hmm. Should we find out from someone who yes. knows? Uh, earlier, we spoke to Guy Anker from Money Saving Expert. Why don't more of us change suppliers if it can save us money? People aren't quite sure, will my supply stay on? Uh, is my gas safe? Is my electricity safe? I mean, the answer is it is. It'll be the same gas, the same electricity, the same pipes. The only thing that changes is the customer service and the price. And Guy, um, are green energy suppliers, are they the more expensive option or can you save money and go green? Fortunately, many of the cheap deals are also green or greenish deals. There's varying levels of green. Um, but in amongst the best buys right now, many of them are so-called green tariffs. So th that's actually really good news. So you can save money, a lot of people can save money and do their little bit at the same time. So we're not in a scenario where you're having to pay hundreds of pounds a year more to go green, fortunately. So, so what sort of savings are we talking about here? The average price that the typical household pays, if they're on a so-called standard tariff, which you'll be on if you haven't switched in a couple of years or, or you've never switched at all, you're looking at around £1,200 a year. Now, if you go to one of the best value deals at the moment, they are just over £800 a year on average. So you're saving nearly £400 a year. But we can be talking hundreds of pounds a year for what only takes about five minutes to check, a metre reading, and that's probably it for most people. Guy Anker from Money Saving Expert. What have you got for us tomorrow then? Uh, food. Do I have to go vegan to save the planet? OK. Keep it brief. <laughs> David, thank you.